This is a video for the subject of learning mechanics from engineering failure, which is an optative subject of industrial engineering degree in UPC. The Barso radio mast was a radio frequency tower used by Barso radio television. The mast, which was designed by Jan Pollack, was 646.38 meters tall and its base was 115.2 meters above sea level. Its construction started in July 1970, and it was completed in May of 1974. The tower entered regular service in July of that year. As you can see in the picture, the Bristol Radio Tower was the world's tallest land-based structure by this time, more than twice as tall as Eiffel Tower. Let's see now some technical specifications about this structure. It was a tubular form steel triangle shaped length of 4.8 meters. Steel tubes which formed the vertex of the construction had a diameter of 245 millimeters. It had an elevator inside the mast which lasted 30 minutes to get to the top of the tower. The total weight of the steel wires was 880 tons. The walls of the tubes varied from 8 to 34 millimeters depending on the height. The mast was formed by 86 sections, each of which had a length of 7.5 meters. You can see in this picture the triangle shaped form. The signals from its 2 MW transmitters could be received across all Europe and North Africa and could reach as far away as North America, Antarctica, South America, Asia, Southern Africa, Australia, New Zealand and the North and South Poles. Essentially, it could send signals around the entire globe. August 8th of 1991 the collapse. The catastrophic failure was caused by a mistake in exchanging the wires on the highest stock. The mast first bent and then snapped at roughly half its height. The helix building and the transmitter building, including the transmitter devices in it, were not damaged, and there were no personal damages as well. The responsibility of the catastrophe belonged to the construction company, and its coordinator was arrested for two years for a negligence. So finally, just for you to realize how tall was the Barso Tower, keep in mind that if it hadn't collapsed, it would have been the second tallest structure ever built, only being surpassed as tallest by the Burj Khalifa, completed in 2010. Finally, here you have a video showing the damage caused by the collapse. 